and welcome to another Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm YuGeek1 and today we're gonna take a look at the new Witcher game. New and new, it's pretty old but uh, it has started to work pretty well on the new uh, wine staging 2.2. Yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm running on the highest uh, quality here so it's a bit laggy because I'm recording as well and uh, of my graphics card. Um, but it runs fairly well and no textures uh, issues that I can see and um, with just a bit lower settings it runs very well. So with that I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, go through the installment if you wanna try it as well. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna exit out of this and we're gonna take a look. So I'm just gonna close this one down, like so. Um, for this you don't need very much, uh, you can use either play on Linux or a thing called Lutrix, but I'm just gonna use uh, wine staging. And uh, for wine staging you just need to go to the winestaging.com website, I will have it in the description box for you. And you're gonna go, if you have Ubuntu, you're gonna go these commands and go to your terminal and you're gonna type in the uh, vget and sudo apt-get release key and uh, add the repository and do an update and installment. Uh, I had an issue with the release key that it didn't work um, and it got stuck and if you get the same issue as me you can go to this website and I will uh, link and the tip from this guy who uh, fixed it. So in order to get it to work you need to add a repository of uh, the YPPA manager, do an update and installment and then you're gonna run it either by going let's see here um, y-ppa-manager uh, and then you're gonna go to the advanced and uh, then you're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna add my password here <coughs> and then you're gonna go and uh, try to import uh, all missing gpg keys uh, and it started working after that for me so I recommend to do that <coughs> excuse me so and uh, that's how you get wine staging and if you want um, wine tricks with your wine staging I recommend you that you go ahead and type in uh, sudo apt get install wine tricks um, to install s some other software uh, needed for your uh, wine staging. Um, but when you have the wine uh, um, staging up and running you kind of go, uh, go ahead and uh, type like uh, wine um, uh, CFG or something to get uh, uh, what's it called uh, the configuration um, so in the configuration file you're gonna go ahead and not do very much uh, it works pretty well uh, with the basic one but what you do want to do is enable the CSMT for better graphics performance and it helps quite a lot with um, the uh, textures and whatnot. So do that, and uh, next you need to uh, go ahead and uh, go to uh, Steam and uh, download. Let's see here if we can't find it. Install, and we want the uh, Windows version. And you're gonna do go ahead and download that. And when that's downloaded, open up the folder. Oh, let's see here. Where did it go? Uh, ah, here. Uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and go to properties on the download folder permissions allow execution and you can go and just uh, run it with uh, the wine uh, program loader like right click open and I want to open it with uh, wine uh, let's see here wine Windows program loader and just open it or by the terminal whichever you prefer and uh, download and install Steam and through Steam then um, I'm gonna go through it as well I uh, have it open here in a virtual box so just uh, you're gonna get these errors but uh, it doesn't matter 
follower the steam to run so it it works either way and just go to your libraries and uh, click install and that's pretty fairly much it um, it can uh, help to uh, uh, remove some po post processing uh, options in Witcher uh, for better performance. Um, another way of installing this is by Lutris. Um, it's like play on Linux. Um, you can keep track of all your uh, Steam games, your GOG games, your Wine games, Linux games, and uh, whatever. And you can link the accounts to your Lutris uh, software here. Um, and by this you can go and uh, let's type in Witcher and uh, we have the Witcher chair because I have linked it with my Steam account and we can just click yeah, let's see here uh, install and I'm gonna do the Steam version and I'm just gonna click install and it's gonna install we're gonna get the errors here and it's basically just that and you just log in to the account and uh, download and install the wild hunt and it will work as well and it will be a little icon here to keep track of your game um, so yeah that's fairly much it um, if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask and I guess I'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching